Hello, welcome everyone to Zahid Starter Mining channel once again. I am Zahid Islam and today I am presenting a paper on optimizing ensemble size. This is the full reference to the paper. The paper was published in Knowledge Based Systems and the, the DOI of the paper is this. You can also find a preprint version of the paper online from my web page. If you go to my web page and go to my publication uh, link, um, then you will find the paper, uh, which is at the moment paper number 13, optimizing the number of trays. And there is a preprint version available. If you click on that, that will take you to the research gate where you can download the paper and read the paper the preprint version of the paper okay we know that if we have a data set like this um, then we can build a decision tree from the data set using many existing decision tree builder algorithms um, and a decision tree uh, can give you a lot of information about the data set it can extract many um, uh, patterns from the underlying data set which help you which can help you to discover knowledge and also use the knowledge for future prediction we also know that instead of just building one decision tree we can actually build an ensemble of trees which is also known as decision forest an ensemble of trees is nothing but a set of decision trees a number of decision trees now, the question is, how many trees do we need in an ensemble? How many trees will make the ensemble the most effective or a very good ensemble at least? Now, generally we can see that if we have big number of trees in an ensemble, then we have good accuracy. So, so the accuracy of an ensemble of trees is generally higher than the accuracy of a single tree now that is a general uh, observation the researchers have also found that in order to make an ensemble to be accurate the individual trees of that ensemble needs to be individual trees need to be accurate as well so if you have an ensemble of say 100 trees and all of the trees are very inaccurate then they may not help you to increase the accuracy of the ensemble now if you have all trees say for example 98 percent accurate uh, then of course the ensemble accuracy can go as high as 100 percent um, something like that so individual trees need to be very accurate another property that can help increasing the accuracy of an ensemble is the diversity of the trees now the trees that you have in an ensemble need to be as diverse as possible from each other let me give you uh, a, a, an example if you have your first tree in the ensemble say for example 90 percent accurate and then you have 100 trees in the whole uh, entire ensemble of trees but all other 99 trees are exactly the same as the first tree so you have a you have tree 1 which is 90% accurate but all other trees tree 2 tree 3 tree 5 tree 100 all of them are exactly same as the first tree will this ensemble increase your ensemble accuracy the answer is no the ensemble accuracy will remain same as the first tree because all other trees are exactly same so they are not contributing in overcoming the mistakes or errors the first tree has made or first tree will make so that's an example that you need diversity all the trees if they are very similar if they are exactly same then they will not help if the trees are diverse then they will help given a particular future record if the record is misclassified by tree one 
and all other trees are very different from tree one then the chance will be very high that tree two tree three tree four and so on they will make a correct classification on that particular record similarly for another given record in future if tree one makes a correct prediction tree two may make a incorrect prediction but hopefully tree three tree four will make correct prediction so this is how for all records maybe one or two or three trees may make mistakes but when you have 100 trees a committee of 100 trees it is expected that most of the trees will make the correct prediction and then when you take the finally voting of all these trees in order to predict the final class label for that record it is likely that you will end up with the correct class labeling that's the reason why the accuracy of an ensemble is generally higher than the accuracy of a single tree now these two criteria can be possibly used to find out a optimum size of an ensemble by pruning unnecessary or unuseful trees out from the ensemble and that way you can possibly shrink the size of the ensemble you can minimize the number of records a number of trees in the ensemble but still you may get good accuracy if you can shrink the size of an ensemble you can get multiple advantages advantage one can be a smaller storage will be required Imagine if you had 500 trees in the ensemble and you can shrink the size to 50 or 40 trees and you still get as, as high accuracy as before, then why do you need to store 500 trees? Instead, you can just store those 40 trees. More importantly, for future prediction, this can reduce your prediction complexity heavily. For example, if you are needing to predict uh, class labels for say 1 million records and in, suppose you have 500 trees then each of those 1 million records will need to be tested through uh, these 500 trees which can be very time consuming whereas if you can reduce the size to 50 trees then you need to just run them through these 50 trees and then take a voting and get almost as accurate uh, class labeling as otherwise so that can actually reduce your time complexity now when you have an ensemble of trees you can of course find out the average uh, ensemble accuracy and then you can find out the set of trees um, that have accuracy higher than the average of the uh, individual tree accuracy right so you can sorry you can uh, you can find out the individual tree accuracy, tree 1, accuracy, tree 2, and then out of 100 trees, or what is the individual uh, average tree accuracy. And then you can find out the set of those trees that are more accurate than the average accuracy. Similarly, you can also find out the average diversity of each of these trees, and then you can find out a set of trees that have more diversity than the average diversity now we can actually plot them in uh, in a graphical way like this so this uh, y-axis is accuracy say for example this uh, horizontal line here is the average accuracy so any tree that have more accurate that has more accuracy than the average accuracy will be here and say for example this x-axis is kappa which is diversity kappa lower means more diversity and this is the average diversity of the trees so any tree on the left side of this average line will have more diversity so as a whole then you can say if you intersect them sub a intersect of sub d you can find this region where the trees in this region are both more accurate and more diverse than the average trees since i told you before that in order to make an ensemble more accurate we need the trees to be more accurate and more diverse so we can expect that if you find out this region and uh, these these trees if you make an ensemble of these trees then they should be very accurate 
So instead of taking the whole uh, ensemble, if you take a sub subset of the trees, a subforest from this region, then they should be very accurate because trees in this region are very diverse and very accurate. We ran an experiment on bagging uh, decision forest algorithm and we found that the uh, if we consider the uh, all trees and these are the data sets that we tested on and if we consider all trees then average accuracy is 83 percent but when we take just those trees that uh, satisfy the sub ad condition then their average accuracy is actually lower 75 percent so they are not as accurate as the full uh, ensemble however the size if we look at the size so when the full ensemble has 100 trees the size of sub ad has only 13.47 trees on an average so there is a huge size reduction and there is slight accuracy reduction as well we found similar result for random forest decision forest algorithm as well so here you can see that accuracy has dropped within the sub ad and the size has shrunk heavily similar very similar result 12.55 from 100 so there is a huge size reduction which is good but accuracy has also dropped accuracy is also dropping that is not good so we don't want accuracy drop now we extended the experiment by including uh, more trees in the ensemble where we said sub a minus alpha and d plus delta that means we are we are including one standard deviation trees um, uh, that have less than average accuracy right a minus alpha and one standard deviation trees that have uh, less diversity than the average diversity so we are including more trees there and that way we can see that here ensemble accuracy is actually better than the full ensemble accuracy this subforest 83.6 percent accuracy whereas the full subforest full forest had 83.44 percent accuracy so accuracy has improved as whereas size has also decreased on an average 100 trees now we have 96 trees for random forest this subforest accuracy is higher uh, than the full subforest full forest uh, and size has also uh, reduced size has also dropped from 100 to 78 trees so this shows that it is possible to reduce the size by and at the same time increase accuracy but this greedy approach actually does not reduce the size very heavily if we want to maintain the accuracy that's why in this paper we are actually pr proposing a genetic algorithm based approach um, to find out the optimum so optimal size uh, of uh, of a forest that will give as good accuracy as the full forest in order to learn about gen genetic algorithms i have couple of uh, youtube videos in my youtube channel this one and this one on the use of genetic algorithms for clustering so those videos may help understand genetic algorithms if you read the paper now then i think it will make more sense and it will be clearer because you now know the basic concept of the paper but what we do is we create a uh, initial population uh, for the genetic operations uh, where the, these are the individual chromosomes and the chromosomes have some uh, trees that we have selected from the original forest and one means that that tree has been selected zero means that tree has not been selected now we have these chromosomes and then we run genetic operations crossover mutation etc and we find the final result and it shows that our results now sub pga is really very accurate the sub pga gives you about 84 percent accuracy uh, compared to sub hga which is another existing algorithm whereas the size it drops from 100 to 39 so that's a good size reduction and we tested this with many other algorithms and we can see similar results that the size drops heavily ensemble size of sub pga is 39.52 but accuracy is even higher than the full forest accuracy 
So that means you can actually reduce the size heavily without losing any accuracy. I hope this was helpful. As always, thanks for watching.